All right, guys, so this is uh, part of your homework using the quadratic formula. Now, you got this sheet on Thursday before I left, but if you, didn't, if you don't have it, the sub actually has more for you. So anyway, make sure you're able to do this. Tomorrow you'll have a quiz, and on Wednesday you'll have a test. Now, the test is going to have a small part that has to do the quadratic formula, but most of it is factoring. Okay, so make sure you know how to factor. Okay, so let me do problem number three. Okay, and the note is that I wrote the quadratic formula up here, and that came from your notes. So this is a quadratic formula, and remember that that gives you the x-intercepts of the quadratic function. Remember that it gives you the roots or the x-intercepts, which is the same thing. Okay, so on this one, if you look at it, we have to split this up. This is A. The A that this formula is talking about is actually the very first term by the m squared. So this is A is equal to 2. Okay, B is going to be this number right here, and then C is going to be the constant, which in this case is negative 12. All right, so those are going to be my numbers. Now, all I have to do from here is just plug it in directly into the quadratic formula. So we have negative 2, right, the negative came from the formula. All right, and then b is this number right here, plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4ac, c being negative 12. All right, all of that over 2. Now, that 2 came from the formula, and then a just happens to be 2 also. All right, so this is what we have so far. So this first part is just going to be negative 2 plus or minus the square root of some number that I don't know yet over 4. All right, so to figure out that number, just plug it in directly into your calculator. Try to plug it in exactly like you see it on your paper, meaning you're going to plug in 2 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 12. So you can do all that just exactly like you see it. I think that would avoid some mistakes for you. All right, so you got 2 squared minus 4ac. So that's, you're going to get 100. Now, that 100 will go right here. Now the first thing you should do, just to see if it works, is you need to find out if you do have a square root of 100. So you do that by pressing second, and then this button right here, the x squared button, and that will give you the radical, or the square root sign. You'll put 100, press enter. Now in this case, it's a whole number, so we can actually replace that square root of 100 with 10. All right, so this is going to be equal to... negative 2 plus or minus 10 over 4. Now remember that on uh, Thursday I told you that when you have something like this, right, you have two answers. So you're going to get two answers. You're going to get one that says negative 2 plus 10 over 4. Right, and if you have negative 2 plus 10, that's 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So that's one answer. And the other answer would be negative 2 minus 10 over 4. And that would give you a negative 12 over 4, which will make this a negative 3. All right, so again, this is you just found were the x-intercepts of the function. So that's how you do that one. Now, let me do another one that might be a little bit more confusing for you. So number 8. All right, number eight. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster, but the first thing you need to do with all of these is that if they're not equal to zero, you must do something to set the value equal to zero, meaning in this case, I'm going to have to add 10 to both sides so that I can get 2m squared minus 7m minus 3 is equal to 0. 
right? So you, that's the first step you have to do. If you don't do that, then you cannot use the quadratic formula. All right, now that I've done that, I can say that A is 2, B is negative 7, and C is negative 3. I'm going to plug all that in into the quadratic formula, which again I wrote at the very top of this paper, so hopefully you copy that down. So we have 7, well, we have negative 7, the negative of that, which will become positive. Again, the negative b, negative b, b is negative 7, plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared minus 4 a c all over 2 times a a is also 2 all right so that's what we got so this is negative of a negative 7 is going to give us a positive 7 plus or minus the square root of some number that we we don't know yet over 4 all right so again remember what i told you earlier make sure you put that in your calculator so you can get exactly the correct answer. So we have negative 7 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 3. So that's 73. That's 73. And if you look at number, uh, at number 73, you actually don't have any factors that I can think of at least. but. Even if you do think of factors that are not, you can't split them up. So this is actually the answer. Right now, I would sort of kind of like you to write it like this, or at least have this in your head that this is actually what's going on. You have one answer that's this, and you have another answer that's actually this. So you have two answers. One's this one, the positive. One that's with the negative, and those are and as scary as that may look, these two are just numeric values. All right, so this is where it crosses the x-axis, and this is where it crosses the x-axis also. Okay, so that could happen, and then now let's go to the back. Let's do one more. All right, and then you can do your own thing. So let's look at number 17. Let's turn this around. Let's do number 17. Now, on 17 is the same idea. You must, excuse me, you must set this equal to zero. So I have to add n squared to both sides. You might want to write a little bit smaller on this one, by the way. So this is going to be 9 n squared plus 4 n minus 16 is equal to zero. Okay. Now again, a. A is 9, B is 4, and C is negative 16. All right. So we have the formula that says negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC. over 2 times a, which is 9. All right, so let me give you a couple of seconds to write that down. OK, again, so make sure you do this part in your calculator All right, so you can see what you get. Now this is going to be negative 4 plus or minus the square root. Now, I've already done this in the calculator ahead of time, so you get 592 over 18. Okay, so the next next thing you must figure out, and I'm going to do this on the side, and I know you may not have a whole lot of room to do this. Five, you need to split 592 into factors. All right, so 592, um, let me think, would be let's see, 16 times 37. And let's make sure, I did this ahead of time again, but let's just make sure that's right. So 592 divided by 16 should give me 37. Okay, so that's 37. 
Now, I know 37 cannot be split up anymore. That's as far as I can go. But 16, I can split that up into, well, many different things. Among them would be 4 and 4. And that's actually where I want to stop because I have a pair of 4s here. Right, so that means that the answer would be negative 4 plus or minus 4 square root of 37 over 18. So I remember one more time how I came from the square root of 592 to this is that I split this up into factors and like I talked about on Thursday if you have a pair of those well that pair that 4 is going to come out all right so that's what you have the other way you can look at it is that if 592 the two factors are 16 and 37 the square root of 16 is 4 which is the number that's right here and that's 37 all right so the very last thing you have to do after that is you have to make sure you have to look at it and see if you can reduce this fraction. But when you reduce, you got to reduce with this number, that number, and this number. Do not touch that square root. That number inside the square root is not going to change. So don't touch it. All right, so if you look at it, all of these numbers are divisible by 2. So I can actually reduce this to negative 2 plus or minus 2 square roots of 37 over 9 and that's it all right I gave the sub uh, the answer key for this so if you need to check your answer you can but no pictures all right so remember quiz tomorrow you'll have a review tomorrow and then you'll have a test on Wednesday and one more time the quadratic formula is not a huge part of the test but you're still going to have a couple of questions over, over it. So anyway, I hope this helped. Get started on your homework, and we'll see you tomorrow.